everyone! Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Alicia and I own a handmade shop called Coffee and Clover because I just believe that sometimes we need some coffee and good luck to get us through the day. At least I do. <laughs> so today's vlog is a very productive one. I'm so proud of myself for getting all these things done in one day. It truly goes to show just how much work goes into making a business behind the scenes. And P.S. The shop is officially launched as of right now, so if you'd like to browse my collection, you could head over to coffeeandclover.store. Just as a disclaimer, I will be recreating the viral blank space stab cake, so there will be contents of fake blood along with the stabbing of a cake at the end of the video, so viewer discretion is advised. I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog! I can already see, it. oh my gosh. Good morning, everyone. I have a very busy day today. Okay, so I have just announced my mini Christmas collection online, which I'm so excited about. I hope that everyone loves it as much as I do. I took some content, I have like just random Christmas stuff that I could find on the floor because I was like, well, it needs to look kind of Christmassy, but we don't really do Christmas decorations in my house and so I didn't really have a lot to go off of. I don't even know where I- oh, the keychains are on the ground still. But I love the designs, I'm so happy with them, I hope everyone loves them as much as I do. I need to run to Michael's because I finally bought myself the clay pasta roller, which I'm so happy about. Like I have- let me show you. I have blisters on my hands right now from kneading the clay so much because it's like a tougher consistency than like red dough or um, or fondant and so i didn't realize but it was scuffing up my hands and i guess i just haven't been working enough with my hands so they're just soft <laughs> so i just put out that i did content for that a little bit i still need to film more content i just have to like think of more things and then so i'm gonna run to michael's i also need to make a cake for my cousin, I was supposed to bake the cake last night, decorate it today, but I didn't bake it last night. So I'm gonna quickly go downstairs, bake it, um, wait for it to finish baking, or maybe I'll have my mom take it out, I don't know. And then run to the store. Oh, okay, it'll take like, no, I could wait for it to finish baking. So I'm gonna make the cake, bake it, then let it cool in the fridge and then hopefully this evening I can make the cake and everything goes well and according to plan and like I'm hoping I have to go to Bulk Barn as well to get a cake box although Michael sells cake boxes I'll just grab it there oh my gosh that works perfectly but yes I'm very busy today because I have not been planning my time accordingly at all <laughs> so that is what's happening and what we're going to be doing so yeah I'm so excited <gasps> we have one week until I launch my shop I still have a lot of things to kind of get going and do, but um, I'm excited! I put my jacket on only to realize that I'm not going out yet, I need to bake the cake first. So let's go downstairs. <laughs> Mom's making kimchi right now. Well, we're gonna make the cake so the kitchen's very hectic. <laughs> Should we make sure there is no hair in the kimchi. <laughs> Of the mixer, but a nice little tip if you are someone like me who never has like milk at home is just buy this from Costco. I like that it's whole milk rather than skim milk, and then I just always have milk for baking. So it's not great for like if you want cereal, but for baking, it's so nice to have.
Cake is in the oven right now, so while we wait for that to bake, I'm gonna try making my stickers or seeing how far I get with that. Cleaned up everything. This stays out because I need to make buttercream later. Okay, so I drew up these stickers just to match all my designs. They look so cute. This one I realized I forgot the things here, and then this one I, re I realized that I not only forgot that, I also did the button eyes, so she has variations. A little bow one, a plain guy, plain guy again, I don't know why. Then we have kitty, and coffee squirrel, and plush pinku. So I'm going to try making these as stickers as little freebies. So I want to preface by saying I've never actually made stickers before. I bought myself this sticker paper off of Amazon, so I'm hoping that it works well. It's a semi-gloss too, so I think that'll look pretty. But as much as I've always wanted to open a sticker shop, I never actually got to the process of making stickers. The furthest I got was practicing my drawing and buying a printer. So I was so close, but so far away. I'm also only going to cut, like hand cut all my stickers, which I know sounds ridiculous to do, but I don't know, part of me feels like I have time. I think realistically I won't, but they are freebies and so it's kind of like if I'm watching a show or something, I could just be doing it. And yeah, I think it'll work out fine. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see. But I have no idea how to lay it out on a page, but luckily my printer allows like borderless printing, which is amazing. So we're going to try that and hope for the best. <laughs> So can I just say, my room is such a mess right now. What is all this? <laughs> Alicia, get it together. So I have one sheet made, but it just occurred to me that I should probably test print like one of each. And so I think I might do that. cut off at the edge of this one guy here but like the colors are sorry my timer went off for the cake but <gasps> the colors are gorgeous it printed so beautifully like super crisp i love that it's only a semi-gloss actually so like it's not too shiny you can really see <gasps> this is so nice i'm gonna hate cutting these out but <laughs> but i love them Oh my gosh, these are my drawings, guys! <laughs> Cute! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It looks so good. Oh, I'm I'm shocked. I am I'm so happy. Good job, printer. Uh, that was a good investment, that printer. I'm I'm so happy. <laughs> Cakes are out of the oven. I actually decided to put it on the stove instead of the table so it doesn't melt the marble by accident. Um, while the cakes cool down just for a little bit, I'm going to finish my sticker sheets, get those printing, then I'll come down, wrap these up, put them in the fridge, and then we'll go out and shop quickly and then we'll come back and figure out what we're doing next. <laughs> I just cut one out just to see like how the cutting process is and it's actually not that bad and she looks so cute like 
I might just keep this one, honestly. Like, look how cute. Stickers turned out so cute. I'm so excited. I am going to Michael's jacket is on. We gotta get going. Okay, so I just finished up at Michael's and I am just leaving right now. They had just about everything I wanted, which is great. But the only thing that they don't have is they've been out of stock of white Primo and white Craftsmart for, I swear, a month. And it's just like the location that I'm at, not all Michaels. So I'll probably have to stop by a different Michaels at some point. Ooh, cars are getting easy. Okay, we're at a red. Oh, it's blinding. I have the cakes in the fridge right now. So those are cooling down. They were like warm to the touch still when I was saran wrapping them. And then the stickers are all printed. I think they look so good. I'm so excited for them, especially because I have not used that printer in so long. Like I bought it last Good Friday. So I bought my printer last Black Friday when it was on sale at a really good price, I'd say. I think it was like 100 off or something or 50 off. Um, and it was the printer that I wanted. I researched so many different printers for like making stickers because at the time I was gonna make a sticker business. My drawings are not cute enough for that. I might like sell some of my stickers in my store just like someday, but I don't think for the launch. Just because I don't have the packaging to send stickers essentially. I just need to buy envelopes really, that's all that it is. But anyways, so yeah. That's kind of the plan, that's what's going on. I'm gonna probably work tonight to like cut them out. I also wanna print out my thank you cards, so I'll work to get that printed and cut out too. That's a lot easier to cut because it's just like in quarters. And then, yeah, I think we'll, we'll go from there. I just got home from Michael's, and so I will show you what I got. I didn't get much, but this is what I got. I have Fimo Soft Brown and Sculpey Primo Red. The brown and the red that I typically get, I was out of, but they didn't have what I normally get. So we're trying these, and luckily I make my own colors, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Like, I know how to mix my primaries, and then I just match it to whatever. And then what I'm most excited about is this. I finally got it! I've been wanting to get the clay roller for so long and I said that I would wait until I got like a couple sales and everything. But guys, after getting these blisters, like I can't mix by hand anymore. Especially with last second making the Christmas collection, I still have to make an inventory for those. And so I, I need this. And then I've actually been getting a couple commission requests, which I'm really excited about too. Um, my friends and family are so amazing. They've been like sharing about my shop and everything and I'm so excited. And so I figured this is worth the investment. And I hope that I'm not hyping myself up too much and like, I, I, I don't know, like shop like fails and goes wrong and like things are not good. But at the moment, I am so hopeful. I am really excited. I'm just like happy. Like even if I only make like one or two sales, like I'll be so happy that someone wanted my stuff. Like it just, it makes me feel like I'm excited. Okay, what is on the agenda right now? I should probably make buttercream to fill the cake and then the cake will need to chill in the fridge for a while. And we'll go from there. <laughs> Today's just one of those days, go with the flow, but get it all done. Okay, I'm hiding in the pantry right now, so hopefully you can hear me a little better, but we have a little bit of a crisis. I think I'm out of icing sugar, and I think I have enough to make like this buttercream batch, but not for the buttercream batch to go on the outside. So I might need to run to the store again. I should have checked. I knew the last time that I used most of it, but then I just forgot to restock because I don't, I don't bake anymore. <laughs> uh, so we might have to go out again. We'll see. Maybe I'll just decorate the cake tomorrow morning. I shouldn't do that.
Mom's making kimchi. <laughs> and then those containers are ours. This does all this. Oh, so much. So much. So much. So go ahead, so. She likes that kind of stuff. I said, oh, okay. Yeah, but usually he never asked me, so I was surprised he asked. So the cake is filled, crumb coated, and in the fridge right now, chilling. So that way it gets a little like harder and the crumbs don't smear around. In the meantime, I do want to print the thank you cards. I, I should. I don't know why I'm trying to avoid it. It's literally like a background thing. Okay, I will print the thank you cards and then... I will cut out some stickers while those print. I'll be good. I'm gonna be productive. We're not putting that off. And then before we do all of that, let's clean my room. <laughs> not the cleanest, but much better. So I did a test print of one of my thank you cards. The cardstock is actually a lot thinner than I thought, so I'll use up this cardstock. Um, but definitely, I'll need to buy the thicker stuff next time. I don't think I'm going to make too many thank you cards because, I mean, if I ever want to change it or anything, it might just be better to have like a lower inventory of them, so that way I don't have them for like a full year or something. But yeah. I think they look good. And then the sticker will go right here. Cute. Just a little thank you. I am going to print out maybe there's four. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Let's do five sheets. Twenty should be more than enough. Oh, even that I think is too much. Four, eight, twelve. Maybe just three sheets. No. We're gonna hope for twenty orders. <laughs> five sheets. So I'm gonna print out five sheets worth. And then while that goes, I've already been starting to cut out some stickers as you can see. So I'm gonna continue doing that while that prints. So I used a different print setting and this is the first one that I printed, but then I did a different print setting to make sure that it's high quality, but to let it be high quality, it needs to be like on photo paper, quote unquote, but that changed the color, which I'm so surprised about. I like both colors, so I really don't mind either or. I just wanted to make sure that like these little lines weren't here, uh, but yeah, I didn't think it would change the color. That's so interesting. So if you're ever printing stickers or something, Something good to know. Okay, so I finished cutting out one sheet of stickers. I still have two more sheets to go, but I'm gonna just do it whenever I have free time. And then I have a bunch of my thank you cards printed. And then I just have like one extra piece of paper left. So I decided I'll just print one more. So we have 24, so we gotta get 24 orders. That's the goal. <laughs> 
so I have my jacket on because in my head I was gonna go shopping to get some more icing sugar but I'm actually just gonna double check one more place in the kitchen to see if we have it and if we don't then I'm gonna quickly run to the store get some icing sugar and then I actually have not eaten yet today don't be like me because it's already 7 16 it's not good but I woke up late today I woke up at like 12 11 so it's been like eight hours so don't be like me eat within like the first hour of waking up that's what's healthy um i don't know how it just like passed me i've been so distracted trying to like get this all done so yeah i'm going to run to the store i'm probably going to eat and then i will work on the cake and stuff <laughs> i just got home got myself some snacks <laughs> i love potato chips and I haven't had any in my room for like probably three weeks and I've been really wanting to snack but I've been like no it's better not to snack when they're not here so I haven't been buying it but since I was at the store I had to <laughs> I'm gonna quickly eat since mom made fresh kimchi I always always eat ramen whenever she makes fresh kimchi because ramen and fresh kimchi are just like the best so I'm gonna eat that and then we will work on the cake because it's already 7.40 so it's probably gonna be like 8.30 by the time I get around to starting the cake but I don't, the cake will take like maybe an hour at most. Hour to, hour to an hour and a half because the actual piping itself will be easy. It's more just the blood component that will be hard for me because I've never done it. But yeah. I just finished eating, but I do not want to start on the cake yet because I'm feeling lazy. And so instead, we're just going to cut the thank you cards. So that way, I, I think I just want to be in my room right now. The kitchen is just so hectic. Uh, my mom's done making the kimchi, but it's still like a, a mess there. So I'm almost contemplating doing it tomorrow morning, but mom's making more kimchi tomorrow. So it will also be hectic. So better to just do it today. <laughs> Ta-da! You look good. probably shouldn't do this now but I also really want to we'll see if I actually do I really want to make scrunchies scrunchies were something that I have made in the past and it's oh I talked about it earlier but yeah so I really want to make scrunchies I just don't know if I have the time for it but they're such like good pieces just to have in inventory so why not whenever I have the time the only thing is that I just don't have I guess I could set up the sewing table here in my room but oh, I wish I had like a cutting mat. That's the one thing that I really need to invest in because even cutting this on this bubble sheet thing that I got from Amazon, like, hey, repurposing, that's fantastic. Like, look at me recycling. But at the same time, it's like, I can't use this more than like maybe one, one more time of cutting those because then it starts to go into the cracks and you know what I'm saying. But if I had a cutting mat, then I can cut my fabric on it Oh, I think there's fireworks going on outside. My neighborhood always shoots fireworks. I don't know why. There's just always fireworks going on like almost every night. <laughs> um, but yeah, if I had a cutting mat, I could cut fabric on it. I can cut my paper stuff on it. Like it, I could do so much. And so I've been really wanting to get one, but I just haven't yet. Maybe I will, we'll see. I'm starting to feel really tired, but I haven't started the cake yet and it's already 10, but my mom has friends over right now. And so I don't really want to burst their bubble and be like, I need to work in the kitchen. So if it's one of those things where I have to wake up early tomorrow, it is what it is. But <laughs> look what I'm doing. 
<laughs> I am deciding that, I mean, whether I put scrunchies on their store or not, we'll see. But because I've been thinking about it, I at least want to make them. So we're going to cut some fabric for now. I already drew the measurements and stuff. And so I have like this beautiful like satin, this white satin. I bought like so much like satin before because when I was making scrunchies, because I thought they would be like super great gifts for people. And then I started making them and then I stopped making them and I haven't gifted them really. So I gifted them to some people, but I want to get back into it. So yeah, we're going to make some scrunchies. Okay, my phone was gonna die, so I couldn't record the rest, but look, we finished one. And it was just as easy as I remember it to be. And she's fluffy and pretty. I made another while talking to my mama, and so now I have two! Cute! <laughs> this looks like blood. It's crazy. It's red with a tiny bit of this blue. Because the red alone was looking kind of orangey when it was a thinner coat like this, but oh my goodness. And then this is just water, sugar, and cornstarch. Gonna let that cool down. Okay, so I can't find her funnel right now and mom already went upstairs to sleep. So I washed the balloon with soap on the inside because usually it's coated with some sort of powder. And we're just gonna use this to make the funnel. Just like something like that. The painter's tape doesn't want to stick because it's parchment paper. So. We will fold it and have that little piece of tape that hopefully keep it together. And then we're going to do this over the sink because I don't want to frisk it. We got this.
tight as possible. Oh, this is getting messy. Okay, that's good. You can already see, oh my god. Okay, so from what I've seen, you gotta cut out like a space for the balloon to sit in. I did thick layers of cake, so that way the balloon has more support rather than buttercream. I feel like that should be good when we put that buttercream over it. Okay, I'm actually really happy with how the cake is turning out so far. It's so cute. All we gotta do now is just do the writing on top and that is what I struggle most with. So good luck to me. Okay, the cake is done. The writing was actually really easy when I just do it in like print. I always try to do it in cursive before and like never very good at that, but in print it's so easy. So I'm happy with how it turned out. It looks really cute. And I hope that the blood explodes properly tomorrow. So I'll have to get my cousin to hopefully remember to film it so that way you guys can see, but yeah, she's cute. I'm happy. Very productive day today. I am exhausted now. I am gonna box the cake up and then head upstairs.
What a day it's been. The boys are playing League of Legends, if you hear that. <laughs> I am exhausted. It has been such a day. I just put a poll up on the store's Instagram to see if we're interested in scrunchies, so maybe I will cut more fabric just in case people say yes. If they say no, I might still make them anyways, just as good like Christmas gifts or something. But I have been so productive today. I'm so proud of me. I cut out all three sticker sheets, even though I said I wasn't going to until it's downtime and right now it's kind of the downtime and I'm kind of sad that I don't have anything to cut and normally I would crochet as well, but I have no yarn that I want to use either of like specific colors anyways. So here I am, maybe gonna cut fabric while I watch some League of Legends. And yeah, thank you so much again for joining me today. Um, with everything that we did. It was such a productive day. We made a cake, we made stickers, we made our thank you cards. We ran to Michael's. Okay, it doesn't sound like we did a lot when I put it like that, but we did a lot. Oh, we made scrunchies. My scrunchies. I really love these actually. Like the satin just looks so pretty, especially in the white. Thank you again for watching and joining me today and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god.